play GMC and sorry, I, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that at all. Can I explain some form of explanation? It's really been a year on YouTube for me. Like, wow. And do not get a curly lace front tour. Do not get a lace curly front tour. I guys welcome back to my channel so I'm so excited today because we get to film like it's been a while it's been a while I've actually sat down to just like film um like my previous videos have been like vlogs and stuff so um and obviously as you guys can tell I'm not in my bedroom like I usually record because it's a hell of a mess right now and lord knows lord knows I really cannot be asked to do it right now so we're just gonna film here hopefully it turns out all right because I haven't filmed here in ages um so it hopefully turns out okay anyway by the way you probably think i look crazy i do probably look crazy but not to worry not to worry i'm just gonna fix up so basically what i thought to do today was um i just wanted to talk do you get what i mean i just wanted to talk i just thought i'll do that while i'm doing my makeup now quick disclaimer please i am not a makeup artist i'm not a mua i don't do mua this is just how i do my own thing you know if you like it take it if you don't like it leave it it's simple um but yeah so basically i'm just gonna do my makeup this is not a tutorial whatsoever because i'm not the type to come and do makeup tutorial because i don't know what i'm doing i will talk about the um details of this hair as well um just so that you guys can know um so i've done my eyebrows because that's what usually takes me the longest 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 of time and i've just put a bit of concealer on my eyelids and that's just i'm gonna put eyeshadow on nothing too serious i hope we'll see anyway let's just get straight into the video so basically i don't know if you guys have been like i've been watching um so that the first thing i'm going to talk about is that love island right so i don't know if you guys have been watching love island but lord knows i am absolutely obsessed with that stuff like um i probably was one of those people before this season anyway i was one of those people that was like um i'm never gonna watch love island what's my aim with that do you get I me mean? but um i've just been sucked in this season it's nothing to write home about because compared to last season which was what got me really hyped um this is just a bit trash do you get I me mean? okay i'm not gonna say trash i just feel i feel like they just need to have a like a a recast like they just need to change the people on there because they're just so boring like why does everybody want to do friend zone friend zone like it's love island do you get I me mean? find love what's going on and i mean it's no it's not their fault if they're not attracted to each other i just feel like the producers should have done like a better job in terms of um like obviously because they've spoken to the people and they know like they've asked them for like their likes and what they would usually want in a guy or what they want in a girl i feel like they should have um what's it called they should have matched them properly so it's not no fault of their own but like the person is funny enough the person that's just really annoying me at the moment um, is Alex. Oh, I, I don't understand. I don't understand why he's acting like that. I just feel like he's got... I mean, at first I felt really sorry for him. Like, because everyone was seeing him that professional light, right? Nobody wanted to... Whatever. Okay, but then, like, since the date he had with... Um, what's her name? Rosie. I'm just like, mm, what's wrong with you? Like, ah. Oh. I don't know. And then the funniest thing is someone said something when it first came in. Someone was like, Alex is a representation of the NHS, right? Um, underappreciated and unloved. Like, isn't that just like the funniest thing? Okay, maybe it's not funny. Please, GMC, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that at all. I mean, I'm just saying. Um, but it, it was like, no. Like, just literally because of the things that are happening in the house. Um, but yeah, and then who else? Is just like another person another person that really annoys me as well is Hayley I really hope she goes home this weekend because I'm just tired of her nonsense like I'm, I'm just tired I'm tired of her nonsense and then um, what's his name and then Wes and Laura <laughs> auntie you're 29 you know like where will you marry okay I'm joking <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean that no but I, I just feel like ever since she realised that £1,000 thing, that's when she realises the whole package. Auntie, did you not know that before? Like, and I feel sorry for Wes, man. I just hope he's not too invested. But then again, you never know, right? You never know. 
basically you know the funniest thing about about love island it's not even it's not even the show itself it's basically the the reaction of everyone especially on twitter like the jokes people be cracking yeah i'm just like you lot are funny so I'm just gonna put some promo. Oh, lest I forget, I was gonna like just basically explain some form of explanation because I don't know. I feel like people, or at least one per two people, were a bit confused. I don't understand why, but anyway, I just thought I'd just make the record straight. Basically, after I posted that. Um, what video was it now starting third year of medical school vlog someone literally just about flooded my thing i think they've deleted it now but basically we're asking questions about or oh, they don't understand that a year ago i posted a video about um first year and now it's not even up to one year and i'm posting about third year i just wanted to say when i posted that video about first year it was the end of first year that was like when first year was over between the summer between first year and second year and starting second year and then the third year video basically after our second year we only had one week break and that's when i went to barcelona so between second year as soon as we finished second year we had a break one week and then we started third year that's why it seems so like a short space of time but yeah i just wanted to clear that in case anyone was a bit confused for some reason but yeah there's that Oh, and like, basically, if you guys haven't seen that video about starting third year, I'm just going to link it here. Um, I was mentioning about how, like, we're starting third year and we hadn't got our results yet, which was very funny at, the, at that moment. I was just going by the power of faith because, <laughs> like, I had no clue whether I passed or not. And we were just here, like, studying all this new content. And you had no idea whether... You actually could move on from second year to get me but by God's grace we're here past we thank God but it just the whole thing just made me think like all that was going through my mind was just God forbid that like, I can't I cannot afford to like fail because that's another nine thousand pounds ha do you know what that means Oh no, oh my god, I'm not ready for that. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to talk a bit about like um, failures in medical school. So, like, when things obviously don't go as planned, and at the end of the day, it's always that thing of oh, as long as you know you did your best and stuff, but um. It can take a bit of like, how do you put it? It's very confidence breaking. If you studied so hard for an exam and then like didn't pass it, it's like, so I worked so hard and I did, I couldn't even pass the exam. So like, why am I here kind of thing? Like, am I even going to be able to make it through? Forgive all of this. Am I even going to be able to make it through like even the more difficult years? Because it's only going to get more difficult, right? And like, um, yeah, so all of this was just playing through my mind. Like, I think I was in radiology or something like that. And I wasn't too, let me just be, I wasn't too keen on it because I was just like radiology, like, mm. but it was actually so good because the consultant that was there, he basically was just, I think he knew that we just got our results. And he basically was just like advising me like, oh, um, so he said, how did they go? And I was just like, oh yeah, they were good. I'm going to have to watch this now. Um, I was like, oh yeah, they were good. But obviously there's always like room for improvement. Um, da -da 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 -da. And he was just like, look, you know what? At the end of the day, exams are important. Results are important, but they're not that important. And I was just like, what? He was like, yeah, obviously they're important to get you through and stuff. But at the end of the day, it's not being a doctor on paper. Do you get what I mean? Um, it, it, the way the way 
especially for medical school exams because there's just so many things right that you can't know everything and they say that all the time you can't know everything so sometimes you focus on certain things and you haven't focused on you know as much on another thing and that's what they that's what the exam questions might be on so then you don't do it as great even if you spend so much time studying that but the other day i realized that it's actually been a year on youtube for me like wow I've actually been on here for a year. I just wanted to say thank you to every single person that has like liked, comment, shared, subscribed, whatever, comment. I said comment already, didn't I? Whatever, thank you so much. Honestly, like you've made me feel like I wasn't just doing this for the sake of it. Like I've actually been able to make an impact and I'm honestly so, so grateful for that. Thank you so much. Okay. So let me just do my hair now. This hair, oh, I was going to talk about this hair. So this hair, yeah, I've got loads. When I say bernie has gone loads of compliments, I've got loads of compliments about this hair. Like I feel like curly hair on my head is just, my head was just made for curly hair. Do you get what I mean? It's just like, this is, this is Bernie. Um, curly hair was just made for me, but I feel like I always just, try and experiment a bit and get straight hair but at the end of the day i need to go back to my curly hair because i've got loads of compliments on this like i said yeah i don't know if you guys can see it but basically there's a difference between the curling patterns of the hair because basically i've got two different types of hair in this so the one right at the top here towards the top in the middle area i've had that before I've had that hair with me before, but then the hair at the bottom, that's from Ali Bell, along with the um, frontal. So basically I'd had this, the one in the middle, I've had it with me um, for a while. And um, basically I, I think I made a wig with it one time, but then it was a closure and I didn't really like the way it was looking. So I took it down and then made another wig. So I'd bought the 22 inches from Ali Bell, and the frontal is a 18 is it 18 or 16 i can't really remember something like that um so yeah I, I think it works okay i mean sometimes it does look a bit different and very odd but you know what it looks okay i think what do you guys think i think it looks okay yeah so and then regarding lace frontals hmm huh. This is me making my first ever lace frontal and that's me installing it and also like just making the whole thing by myself i would not advise you if you're getting a lace frontal for the first time do not get a curly lace frontal do not get a lace curly frontal i don't know what i was doing because obviously curly hair in itself is already very high maintenance and then having to like with, in terms of the like frontal like because when you put it on well when i put it on I like to like have it on for like two, three days at the most. Three days is already off anyway. But um, it's like, because with curly hair, you want to be able to get in there and do the, you know, do the whole routine with it every time. But when it's on your head, that's why I feel like curly hair is really good if it's a wig, because you can just really manipulate it. But because it's a thing and you have to leave it on for a while. Ugh. But then, you know what? When it looks like a rat at first and then you do your whole shebang with it, it just it just it just be coming out looking spicy you get me i don't know if i'm just gonna leave my hair like this today or just do my signature i love putting it in in like a bun like it's coming from within guys this is the finished product i think i look like a spice right now i look like one more thing yeah anyway guys this is the finished product thank you so much for watching if you have any question like always don't forget to leave it in the comment section below don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye